all good. All right, and we back again with the. Uh, we out at Ohio State University campus. That shit is out of focus. That's good. This whole goddamn city's out of focus. This whole motherfucking country's out of goddamn focus. I already started it. Where's where, where's we at? You got your oh yeah, this one's shattered. We got the soundtrack in this video. They gonna get us for copyright violation. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn devils. Our channel gonna get deleted for the first time in two years for copyright violation. Cause we got music playing in the background. And copyright laws are some bullshit. You know what some bullshit is? Copyrights is bullshit. Patents are bullshit. So-called intellectual property is bullshit. So they just took down the Pirate Bay because all. Oh, they have violated intellectual property. What the hell is an intellectual property? You gonna tell me you can own an idea? That don't even make no goddamn sense. Uh, get a, get Deuteronomy 30. We gonna go with that. Oh fuck, man, that's some faggot music they playing now. Oh, that's right, that's why we started teaching. Goes that Chris play. Brown. Right, Chris Brown's a hero. He beat the shit out of that bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's that bitch's name? He beat the shit out of that hoe. Rihanna. Yeah, because you know Rihanna, she's a uh, goddamn devil worshiper, always throwing up devil horns and shit. Like, he, he smacked the shit out of that hoe. Chris Brown got a little rebellious spirit on him, you know what I mean? That, they need to turn that shit down, man. That, I, I forgot, that's why we started teaching out there. Because of that goddamn music. Uh, what I say again? Deuteronomy 31. So we're going to go back to talking about Israel. Like the scripture said, actually, before you get that, let me get something real quick. Right before you get that. Because yeah, this is what our whole job is, man. Our whole job is to teach us gospel. You're supposed to come out here like some fools, like you out your damn mind. You're supposed to teach us gospel. No matter what, like a soldier. It's not like a gangster, like we gangsters of truth. So I'm not scared to come out here and teach the Bible. I'm not scared. I don't care what people think about me. If you come up talking shit to me, I'm gonna curse you out, all right? I'm gonna make a fool of you. You think you'll make a fool of me? I will clown on you. We will clown on you with this truth, all right? That's why you don't see nobody talking shit. Because they get put to rest. Anybody come up here talking shit, they're going to get put to rest. That's all there is to it. They're going to shut up and they're going to sit the fuck down. Matt, goddamn Michael Jackson, most high put his ass to death. Oh, we're getting deleted for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, copyright violation. That's why we started teaching down there, you know what I'm saying? That shit is pretty loud and annoying, ain't it? When you hear that shit, you're going to start dancing. I'm going to start moonwalking. <laughs> I'm gonna do the moonwalk while I'm teaching. <laughs> but you got that's a spirit of an Israelite. Oh, let's break down the word Michael Jackson. Michael, Michael, that goes back to the word, uh, uh, that goes back to the angel, the, the archangel. The head of the angels is Michael. But the last name of Jackson, Jack's son, Jack, comes from the Hebrew word Jacob. Okay, so Jack's son means son of Jacob. So he, you know Michael Jackson was an Israelite. He's the son of Jacob. He's the son of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when you see what happened to Michael Jackson too, his ass caught leprosy, okay? Because people try to say, oh, Michael Jackson had surgery to turn himself into a white man. No, he didn't. The autopsy proved that Michael Jackson had a skin disease and he caught leprosy. He turned from a white man to a black, uh, excuse me, he turned from a black man to a white man. That's why he came out with that song, it don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, he was he was engaged in all kind of foul, wicked behavior. He probably was molesting those children. You know what I'm saying? He probably was. I mean, he, look at him. He said he was Peter Pan. They got, they got Michael Jackson on video saying he is Peter Pan. Climbing up his wishing, what is it, his wishing tree? You remember his tree? His I don't know tree. what he called it. 
He said it was his fucking wishing tree. He was like, this is where I wrote Heal the World. Yeah, Heal the World, no. Yeah, he said it wrote itself. That was that <laughs> demon writing it. Yeah, the, the Lord is going to heal the world. You know what I'm saying? He's going to heal with missiles. Not the monkey god. Hey, they worship the monkey god. But Michael Jackson, he was into all kind of foul shit. That's why his ass caught leprosy. You know what I'm saying? What's up, homie? Not too much. How you doing? Doing all right. What y'all up to? We teaching the gospel. Good. You believe in the gospel? Of course I believe in the gospel. Okay. What else is there to stand on? So what's the gospel? That's the word of God. It is the word of God. So I was about to read a scripture. Though. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So you believe in the Lord, right? The Son of God? Yeah. Okay. Who did he come to save? He came to save us. Well, no, no. He came to save Israel. Uh, so that's what we're talking right there. Uh -huh. Okay, who is Israel? Us, his people. They're the true Hebrews and Jews. <laughs> Where'd you learn that from? The Bible. The Bible. That's, good. That's a good answer. The people, they starting to wake up. You know what I'm saying? The truth is getting out there. Well, that's what y'all do. Right, that's what you're supposed to be doing. We don't ever have a chance. Uh, have 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 a, we always got a chance. There ain't no chance. We commanded to teach on the street. Yes, we are. We commanded to make disciples of all nations. Yeah, because Israel scattered among all nations. Yes, sir. You know that? Let me get a scripture to prove that real quick. Well, you just look at history itself, you know. Between uh, slavery, all the different wars in different lands and countries. You know, you go back to the history of Egypt itself, you know. Now, where do you read from there? So, this is Apocrypha. You know about the Apocrypha? Yeah, man. Hidden Gospels. Yeah, it's, you know, it's King James. It was... It was in the original King James Bible. Yeah, because the Lord said, because a lot of people, they get confused. They, everybody's so carnally minded, they all think it on the flesh. Because uh -huh. when the Lord said, teach the gospel to all nations, he said that because Israel is scattered among all nations. Our people have been scattered. We got to read that. Hope that people like us. You got a minute? Let me read, let me read something for you. Deuteronomy 13 and 3. All right, next year's not doing the Tobit. He's going to get Deuteronomy 30. This is Tobit, the book of Tobit, 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. So, so the Lord scattered Israel among the heathen. You know, that's a punishment because we commit sins, you know what I'm saying? You know, a bunch of adulterers, adulteresses. And Israel ain't no, and Israel ain't no good. You know Wait, say that again? That Israel is no good. Israel is no good, or they weren't any good. Well, two thirds, two thirds of Israel is no good. Well, if that's the two thirds that's not going to be saved when he comes. That's back. Why, why I'm saying Israel's the apple of the Lord's eye, but the Lord said His people is foolish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, our people, they are always up to no good. That's one of the trademarks of an Israelite. If somebody is a clown, a fool, you know what I'm saying? You never seen that? Oh never boy, I'll show it to you right here now. I've never seen it. Seen well, it I'm gonna show it to you. That's the a trademark. trademark of an Israelite. That's all. Who is I'm gonna say you read the Bible. I read the Bible. That's all through the Bible. Now, I've heard where Israel has acted foolish at times. At times, but he has never classified them. Oh, they even classified them. Check this out. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Sodish children. Sodish means stupid. They're talking about the particular events that led up to that. From all yeah, they, the promises and manifestations of God that are in us, Israel can't, we're, we're can't, can't, can't be foolish. For my people is now, foolish. Now there are certain ones who make children Listen foolish now. ways. They have not known me. They are Sodish children. They can't even Listen now. Uh -huh. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So Israel got no knowledge. Israel, oh, Israel has knowledge. Knowledge is right there uh, before no, the them, elected, they only seek it. The only, oh, see, we only out here for the elected Israel. Well, That's well, it, well, the elect. I'm confused now because... Most of the, Israel going to be destroyed. The Lord going to kill them. Aren't Caucasians considered as Edomites? No. Well, you, some of them are Edomites. You know, when uh, Joshua, uh, not Joshua, sorry, Jacob and, and uh, Isaac, uh, where he was born with red skin. No, it's Esau. And Esau, there we Esau. go. Isaac was uh, dad. 
but uh, wasn't Esau considered the father of the uh, Edomites? Yeah, Esau is the father of the Edomites. Uh -huh. And the Edomites are white people. What well, now? Oh, you got black Edomites too, don't you know that? No, I didn't. Know. So what happens? Let me ask you a question. I, I know, I know that there are many other nations other than the Israelites and the Edomites that, that, that you know we just mentioned. What happens? Many nations. What happens if a black man? Have sex with a white woman, well, and then they have a son that's mixed. That child, and then that, still, that child is still in Israel. Like, exactly, but then what happens if that mixed baby has sex with another white woman, mm -hmm. and then his baby has sex with another white woman, mm -hmm. and then the child come out with blind hair and blue eyes? Mm -hmm. Is he a, a devil now? No, well, no, I guess uh, well, he technically he is still an Israelite based on the Bible standards. Damn right he's an Israelite. But then that goes down. That's what happened in Israel. Read that Deuteronomy 30. That's what this is what we that's why I said when we first saw the talk, I said Israel scattered among all the nations. Now you know Bruce Lee's an Israelite. He's a he's a China man. Well, yeah, Chinese. Chinese uh, Israelites went to China. That's what I'm saying. You know, but they, he, he ain't black. No, no, all the Chinese are descended from Af African American. Well, I'm sorry. Not Excuse all of them. For the African American uh, title right there. <laughs> from Israelite descent. Not, not all of them. Uh -huh. A lot of them are Moabites. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Well, wait, was it, uh, uh, Ruth was a Moabite, though. Uh, right, Ruth was a Moabite. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, right. So King David come out the lineage, but he's still an Israelite uh -huh. because uh, Ruth was married to Obed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And that's his grandfather. Mm -hmm. But King David ain't no heathen. But he, you know what I'm saying? Because he had a Moabite on his grandmother's side. Read that, Deuteronomy 31. De Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. The blessing and the curse, because mm -hmm. Israel right now is cursed. Oh, yeah. That's why I say Israelites, are, for the most part, the majority percentage of Israelites are no damn good. Well, I'm going to still say that's an inaccurate assumption. Uh, it's, it's, now, why, when the rapture comes, hey, there are two thirds uh, who are uh, not going to be saved. We, we don't well, know. Two, we don't know what particular state. You said. Well, you just said it yourself. Two thirds ain't going to be but, saved. But that's when. We don't that, know that's a majority. When they know so, they are. So, is it two thirds? Is many, it or not a majority? Walk the right way and then fall off at the end. Let me ask you a question. We can't say that they are wrong right it's now. Two thirds. But at the end. Oh no no. I said two thirds. It is or not two thirds a majority percentage? That comes down to all the different false doctrines, though, that are being teached. Well, I, I didn't ask that. I said, like, is two thirds, is it or ain't it, two, a majority percentage? That's when that time comes. Yes, that's more than the majority. When that time more, comes. You said it, more than the majority. When that time comes, when he comes back. But well, So why would he destroy him, though? I'm because sorry. they know damn good. Because they know, he, the scripture said, my people is wise to do evil. To do good, they got no knowledge. But see, now, now, what are the particular verses before that one that you read? Uh, I got came another from one for Jeremiah? you. Okay. I mean, no, give me the story that the prophet is telling all the way oh, all, and when God we said we that to him. Because it. it seems like when he made that statement, he was talking about the, that then present. You ever state. read the book of Jeremiah, bro? The whole book of Jeremiah is him talking shit about Israelites. Well, the whole book. It, it's, it's him speaking through his prophet to, to help uh, uh, rebuke the people. All right, I got one for you. Okay, uh, what should I start? This is Jeremiah. I'm gonna just start at 21. Mm -hmm. This is a key scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read this, we'll get back to that Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 2 and 21, yet I planted thee a noble vine. Mm -hmm. So the Lord planted Israel as a noble vine. Because yes, yes. Israel means he is a prince of God as royalty, as noble, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yet I planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? All those degenerate. Israel's de our people are degenerates. They're degenerates. I can't speak for your people. But, but, but <laughs> my mine, people are Israel. You know, they're descended from kings, princes. Oh, uh, so what, what, what's my people? What's my people? I don't know anything about you or your people. You know, you say anything out here. But my people, I don't know anything about them. I know everything. I don't know your people's fine, right? So all, all these Israelite women have uh, having all these abortions. That's fine, right? I don't know anything about those women. Because uh, you know, black women got a higher uh, abortion rate than any other women yeah, on the yeah, planet. You know, anybody can call themselves an Israelite or be considered, but to be a true Israelite, a true child of God, you have to serve and worship him according to his scriptures. 
according to the Holy Scriptures. We know this. That's only the elect. But just, just because they are born into it does not, and they are not practicing the true faith and worshiping the right way. Let me, let me ask you a question though. Is there, is they ain't black people Israelites? Black people are descended, yes, from Israelites. So-called black people, they uh, Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Yes. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Who has well, the highest well, divorce rate? In America, well, I don't know anything about. Those oh, you don't statistics. know nothing now. Don't you don't know, know that now. The Lord said, the, did, "Did or did not the Lord say, ye adulterous, you are an adulterous generation?" Yeah, He said that. At so, said what, so if Israel is so righteous, why did He call them an adulterous generation? Yeah, uh, see, this is where I'm going to have to bow out of the conversation now. Well, you can bow out. Yeah, out of hey, those. Y'all be good out, out here. I, we pray that the Lord destroys you. That's a good guess, you? That missile flew right there. Hey, hey, you, you fuel for the fire, brother. You fuel for that fire. And you said false doctrine. Yeah. You come on with false doctrine. Oh no, oh no. You come on with false. You said, you said Israel's all righteous. The, and you, but, and, but no, but at the same time, but you agreed. But you agreed two thirds are gonna be destroyed. I ain't twisting the truth. I ain't twisting the truth, bro. You ain't out here drunk, are you? I'm teaching the truth. I am drunk. I'm drunk on the spirit. So far, thus far as Westbrook and Durant are working their way back, turn over the He's talking that job talk. Yeah, you just, what you got? Read it. Hey, how is he going to say he agreed that two thirds is going to be destroyed? He agreed. Didn't he say that? Didn't he say two thirds are going to be destroyed, right? But he said the majority of Israel ain't wicked. But two thirds are going to. That don't make no goddamn sense. Read that. Daniel, Daniel 9, verse 7. I ain't worried about that dude. Actually, that just. That just gave us a little something to talk about. That's all that was. The Most High gave us somebody to play around with. That's all that was. Go ahead. O oh Lord, righteousness belong unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. Confusion of faces. All right, because like he said uh, black people is Israelites, but he tried to say anybody that look like a white person is a devil or so. That's pretty much what he was trying to say in a roundabout way. You know what I'm saying? I because he he said I don't know about my people, but your people. Then I asked him who my people was. He wouldn't even say it, would he? He's pretty much trying to say I'm an Edomite, but he didn't want to say it because he knew that was bullshit. I'll read that again. Daniel 9 verse 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. Yeah, because there's a confusion of faces with Israel. Because like I said, Israel scattered among all the nations. Because you got Israelites that, that come in all colors, that look like all people. You know what I'm saying? You got Israelites that look like Chinamen, look like Japanese people. Happens all the time. Uh, go back to that Deuteronomy 30. Yeah. What's that? Who they got playing over there? Hot Buckeyes? The Cavs and the Blue Jackets. Oh, the Cavs and the Blue Jackets. Is that, Both at the same time. I was about to say, the Cavs are playing the Blue Jackets now. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Maybe I do need to get drunk. All right, you got to be drunk to watch that shit. Cavs playing the Blue Jackets. God I got to zoom in and clarify that. <laughs> Two different TVs, all right, guys. I'm having that. Yeah. You got high on the acid to watch that one. What's up, homie? Hi. That looks like your boy, uh... What's that dude who was on Nights of Bad Ass of him? Or, uh... Yeah, Nights of Bad Ass. That nerdy guy. I can't remember. He looks just like him. Uh, we'll, we'll read that, man. Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set it before thee, and thou shalt call them, and thou shalt call them to mind among, good. among all the nations, where the Lord thy have driven thee. So the, yeah, because the Lord scattered Israel among all the nations. He's been saying this all day. He going, 
It shall return unto the Lord, to the Lord thy God. It shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. That thou and thy children, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, that, that then the Lord thy God will turn the captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord God, Lord thy God, have gathered thee. Yeah, right. So, you try to say if someone tries, like that asshole is trying. To say, I mean, I get this shit all the time. Like I'm really worried about it. Trying to say, oh, you're not an Israel, you're a white man. Like, I give a fuck what you believe or not, man. So that's the thing, what these people believe, it don't matter what they believe, man. It just don't fucking matter. Like, I give a goddamn. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna fuck that dude up, man. Come up here, jive talk. He's trying to talk that preacher talk. Yeah, he's trying to talk about that preacher. He's a clown, man. He got no beard on his face. It look like he got a five o'clock shadow. That's Jakari Jackson's little brother. Hell yeah. Jakari Jackson go harder than him. Go ahead. If any of if any of thine be driven out into the if any of thine be driven out into the outermost parts of heaven, from thence with the Lord thy God gather thee. Yeah, the utmost parts of heaven. Like America's the utmost parts of heaven. Or you got Israelites to be even scattered up in the uh, Samoan Islands. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them Uso motherfuckers. Some of them it might be Israelites. You don't know, man. You got to try the spirits. That's why the scriptures say you got to try the spirits to see wh whether they be a God or not. That's where we are. We out here trying the spirits. It don't say try the flesh. That'd be easy. If it was just that easy, we could be like, oh, there goes all the white ones. There's all the white people, there's all the black people. So all the blacks are good and all the whites are bad. What kind of simple kindergarten shit is that? You know what I mean? That's some whole simple-minded shit, man. You need punch in your face for saying some shit like that. Really, when you, when you talk that shit, when you're judging according to skin color alone, you deserve to be punched in your face, you deserve to be DDT'd, you deserve to be hit with a brick, you know what I'm saying? You, you deserve to get the shit beat out of you. That's what you deserve to happen to you, man. And we pray the Lord fucks you up. We pray the Lord kills you, destroys you, and destroys your family, destroys your children, okay? That's what. That's just the way it is, man. I'm not going off, am I? I pray the Lord destroys people, right? That's nice. <laughs> Go, nah, I got a scripture for that. Go ahead. Your boy teaching a false doctrine. He said we. He said he told us to be beware of false doctrines. Go ahead. Right, that was the point on that one. Actually, you just read it. That was the point. Because Israel was scattered among all the heathens. Get up, James one and one. Now, if Israel was not scattered, well, why in the hell would we be out here teaching? Does that make any damn sense? Why would the Lord say go to all nations? It didn't say go to two nations, or three nations, five nations. It said all nations. Okay, because Israel scattered among all nations. Israel ain't just scattered in the Western hem Hemisphere. Israel just ain't scattered in the, in the Southern Hemisphere. It ain't just scattered in North America and South America. Israel scattered among all nations. That's what these fools can't get, man. We don't give a damn. They ain't gonna get it, okay? Cause this ain't for everybody. This truth and this knowledge ain't for everybody. Get James one and one. James one and one. James, the servant of God and of the Lord, Yahushai Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. That's simple and plain. He said, James, to the twelve tribes which are scattered among. All right. So you boy try to say too. Oh, there ain't no white Israelites. Now, why is there a book of Galatians in the Bible? The, the book of Galatians, that's where you get the word Gaul. That's where you get the Gaul. That's where you get the word Celts or Gales. Because the Irish are Celtic people. And what do the Irish speak? They speak Gaelic. They speak Gaulish. That's where you get the book of Galatians. So this dude sound foolish speaking that. You know you know what I'm saying? These sound stupid because the Irish are Israelites. Black people in America, they're Israelites. Native American Indians are Israelites. The Mexicans are Israelites. Uh, name some more Israelites. Uh, yeah, Cubans is Israelites. Haitians are Israelites. 
All the, a lot of people all through the West Coast of Africa is Israelites. Northern Africa is Israelites. You got Israelites scattered everywhere, bro. But you ain't gonna sit here and tell me this bullshit. Because I judge, you know what I'm saying? We judge according to the spirit, not the flesh. The Bible says that, that your brother is the Actually, give me Luke the 10th chapter. We're gonna read the parable of the Good Samaritan. If we got time. If we can hear, we got goddamn Marv Albert in the background on this motherfucker. That's why we use, well, that's why we stop teaching over here. It'd be good for a change to come out. We made a spectacle of ourselves when we come right here on Friday, bro. We supposed, you supposed to make a spectacle of yourself. Because the Bible, uh, Paul said we have made a spectacle into the world. Ran back into the mix. Uh, we're probably about to get man. You know where the Good Samaritan's at? Look at this. Yeah, get that. Luke 10, verse 25. And behold, a certain Lord, Lord stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Yeah, inherit eternal life. Keep going. He said unto him, What is written in the law? How read it thou? And he, he answered and said, Thou shalt love the, the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy spirit, strength, with all thy mind, and love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. Do this, and thou shalt live. But he, but he willing to justify himself, said unto Yahushai, Who is my neighbor? Yeah, he said, Who is my neighbor? Okay? So that's what we saying, because... But your neighbor, who's your neighbor? Is an Israelite, right? And our neighbor is Israel. Keep going. And Yahshua answered and said, A certain man sent, went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which took them of his, of his remnant and wounded him and departed. So, yeah, so you're saying this one guy was walking, he got robbed, they stole his clothes, they wounded him, and he's all messed up and like laying in a ditch. Keep going. Leaving him, leaving him half dead. Leaving him half, he left there half dead. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by the other side. Yeah, so a priest, a Levite priest came, an Israelite, a so-called Israelite came, a Levite priest, and came and saw him, keep going. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the, at the place, came and looked on him, and passed on the other side. Yo, so here, a Levite walked by, seen an Israelite laying, and just said, fuck him, and just kept on going. Oh, that's more proof that Israelites ain't right. Like I was trying to tell you, boy, two-thirds of Israelites, no damn good. They gonna help you. They see you laying a the dish, they gonna help you. They gonna keep going, keep going. But a certain Samaritan... A certain a Samaritan? Now, a Samaritan's the Israelites? No, they're not. You can read, I think it's in the book of uh, 2 Kings, the 17th chapter, somewhere around there. I gotta look it up. Where it tells you how, how uh, there were Hamites that were moved in, because Samaria was originally where the tent, uh, was the capital of the, the kingdom of Israel, the, the northern ten tribes. But, at, but the northern ten tribes, they got driven out of the land of Samaria, then heathens were brought in there. And that's what the Samaritans that we know of today, which are not Israelites, okay? They're, 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 they're imposters. They're not real Israelites. But read that again. Read that about the Samaritan. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. So he, I'll keep going. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. So this Samaritan, even though this Samaritan is speaking of, he looked like a heathen, okay? He looks like a heathen. But actually, through the Spirit, we know he's really an Israelite because he showed compassion on his brother. Keep going. And went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set, and set him on his own beast. Yep. And, and brought him into an inn and took care of him. Took care of him. A Samaritan, a heathen, is the one that saved you, not an Israelite. But he was actually an Israelite, though. Through the Spirit, we know that. Keep going. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence 
and came to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these things, which now of these things three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the, the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. He that showed mercy on him. Keep going. Then said he how shy unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Right, so we can take an old racist bastard. We gonna take the oldest. That's why I try to tell like, cause you got like a lot of people that look like me, like my family, whatever. They look like so-called white people, but they be racist as fuck, right? And that's why I tell them, I'm like, you could be out, you could get in a car wreck one day and you hate niggas so much, but watch one day your ass gonna be in a car wreck, your car gonna be in flames, and all these white people gonna, gonna pass you by, they are not gonna help you, but a nigga's gonna come and save you. But you know what I'm saying? That's how the Lord does shit, man. Or you could be a black person that hates white people. All oh, these goddamn crackers. I hate these goddamn crackers. But your ass will be in a car wreck one day. Car about to blow up. You sitting there burning and shit. Skin boiling. You know what I'm saying? And all your black brothers just passing your ass by. Here comes a cracker that comes and saves your ass. But that's actually an Israelite that came and saved you. They say people, they so stupid. They, they always judge it by appearance and by the flesh and not by the spirit. That's why they're going to get put to death. That's why two-thirds of Israel is going to get put to death because they're carnally minded. You know what I'm saying? They're not spiritual. So they, the Lord's just going to kill you. He's going to put you to death. And that's all there is to it. Man. So that's what's coming. Is death and destruction is coming. Death, destruction, doom, and gloom. Like the book of Amos said, the day, the, let's get that book of Amos. You know that day the Lord is darkness and not light? Hey, get that, man. Because y'all want to be carnally minded. Y'all want to keep judging according to the flesh. Y'all want to keep being stupid. The Lord going to fuck you up, man. That's all there is to it. It's just like that. <laughs> it's just like Dave Chappelle. Y'all remember the... Uh, the Dave Chappelle skit. That's why Dave Chappelle has some truth in his shit. And that's why they got rid of him. Uh, but he had the, the, the blind Klansman. He was a, a black dude. It was in the KKK. You seen that? He was blind. He was talking about I hate niggers. <laughs> because he was, he was blind. You get it? It's like a parable, man. I, you know, I hate, I hate people who judge by the flesh. And all they care about is, they always judge by thinking, like these white pride people, they call me a race traitor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you goddamn race traitor. You, I, you know what I'm saying? My brother is those who do the will of the Father. My brother just ain't all white people. Motherfucking white people are the ones oppressing me, stealing all my money, fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? If I was gonna judge according to the flesh, People don't make no goddamn sense, man. Uh, what did I tell you again, Amos? Yeah, read this. Amos, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Oh, that's like your boy is out here. Uh, he thought he was an Israelite. Well, he was an Israelite. But he thought he was a man of the Lord. He ain't no man of the Lord. He, he, he desiring the day of the Lord. You don't want to see the day of the Lord. Um, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. But the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So the Lord is coming with death and destruction. That's all he's coming with. Keep going. If, and if a, if a man did flee from a lion and a bear meet him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Right, there's no escaping it. Keep going. Even very dark, and no darkness, I mean, and no brightness in it. So the day of the Lord is very dark and no brightness in it. It's not going to be a nice, happy day. That thing about to die or something? No. Okay. That's the point, man. You got more to that? What else does that say? I hate these guys. Yeah, well, yeah, keep on reading that. Verse 21. I hate and I hate I despise your feast days. So yeah, the Lord hates and despises your feast days. The Lord hates Christmas. He hates Thanksgiving. 
he hates Easter because Christmas, Christmas is that's part of the winter solstice celebration. That's what the pagans practice. Huh? Oh yeah, get that on camera. As soon as we said Christmas. Got damn Christmas lights passes by. Right, Christmas go back to ancient Romans. Worship Sol Invictus on December 25th, the sun god. Because on December 25th, you see how right now it's real dark, right? It gets dark real early. Because in the winter time, the day's short and the sun's not out as long as the rest of the year. But December 25th is when the sun starts to rise back up again and the days start to get a little longer again. So that goes back to the worshiping of the sun. Because December 25th is sun worship. Just like the so-called Christians go to church on Sunday. They go to church on Sunday because they worship the sun. And it's not the son of God. People be like, see, Jesus, he's called the son of God because he's the son. And that's why you go celebrate Christmas on December 25th. That's a lie because December 25th is nowhere in the Bible. I get Deuteronomy 17 and 3. December 25th is nowhere in the Bible, all right? It's not in there. You ain't supposed to worship the sun. And the word sun in the Greek is, uh, as the sun in the sky is Helios, it's not sun. And the word for sun in Hebrew as an actual sun, like my sun, is bon. It's not sun. And the word for sun in Hebrew as a sun in the sky is shamash. So don't let people trick you with all this wordplay. Uh, what I say? Deuteronomy 17 to 3. Yeah, because worshiping of the sun, that's punishable by death. So all these people out here talking about they uh, Egyptian. They, they, they talking about they Egyptian. They had Pharaoh. They worship Ra. They going to get put to death. Read that. Deuteronomy 17 verse 3. And have, uh, and have gone and served other gods and worshiped them. Either the sun or moon. Or any of the hosts of heaven. Either the sun or the moon. Because Sunday, like Christians go to church on Sunday because these so-called Christian churches are actually pagan temples. They're pagan in origin. They're not, they're not Christian. They're not biblical. They're not based upon the Bible. They're based on pagan philosophies and traditions. Easter is a pagan tradition. Easter is named after Ishtar, the Babylonian goddess of fertility. It's a fact. Keep going. Which I have not commanded. The Lord ain't commanded you to worship the sun or Ishtar. Keep going. And they be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and acquired diligently, and behold, it be true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought in Israel, then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which shall committed that wicked thing unto the gates, even a man or that woman. Man or woman. And shall stone them with stones till they die. Stone them with stones till they die. So if you worship the sun, actually, according to the Bible, according to the Bible, if you celebrate Christmas, that means you worship the sun, right? If you go to church on Sunday, that means you worship the sun. That means you're supposed to get stoned to death. Keep going. At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. That's worthy of death. You're supposed to get put to death. Keep going. At the mouth of one witness, <laughs> you shall not be put to death. We're extremists. Y'all like, are extreme. The Most High is extreme, okay? Most High is very, very extreme. The Most High is the supreme extremist, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, that's good. That's good on that. Give me a uh, Second Chronicles 15 and 13. And we can wrap it up on this. We've been out here for a minute, ain't we? Been out here two quarters so far. Two quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Marv Albert doing play by play. <laughs> See, they, they, they know all the. These motherfuckers don't know nothing about the Bible. All they, all these people in Columbus, Ohio, know about is basketball, football, smoking blunts, drinking forties, being a faggot, committing adultery, being a slave. We're gonna read.
read a commandment out of the Bible. Uh, what I say? Second Chronicles 15 and 13. Read that. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. Can I read y'all scripture? There's one scripture. Read that real loud. Second Chronicles 15 verse 13. That whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So the Bible said, whoever does not seek the God of Israel, Yahweh, shall be put to death. That's what the Holy Bible says. In the Bible, that's the law of the universe. Y'all like to follow the laws of man. Because America's the kingdom of Satan, all right? America's going to be destroyed. That's all there is to it. Little faggot trendies walking by us. A bunch of, a couple of yuppies. Fucking butt buddies. You people give me the creeps, man. Like a creepy crawlers. Hey, read that again. You got to read that multiple times. That's a scripture you gotta meditate on. You gotta, you gotta put this in your notes, meditate on it, read it to your family. <laughs> yeah, read that to your family. Yeah, they kick you out the house. <laughs> second, second Chronicles 15 verse 13. Now whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel, who's Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Should be put to death. Should be put to death. That means uh, if you're a Muslim, you calling on Allah, that means you're supposed to get put to death, right? You know what that means? So, I mean, that's just what the Bible says. Not... So if you worship, like, that music is fucking my spirit up. That bitch is digging it. She over there dancing to it. Oh, she stopped as soon as that I said That shit's garbage. I, that shit's not even music, man. All that new shit sounds the same. I like that one song they was playing earlier. That Fergie? I forget that bitch. Fer I hate that Fergie <laughs> bitch. That bitch looks like she done had all kind of trains ran on that hoe. She's supposed to get put to death. And if you a Hindu, you're supposed to get put to death. You a Muslim? Death. Buddha? Death. Give me another one. A atheist? Agnostic? Death. Okay, Scientologist, death. Freemason, death. Uh, that's all there is to it. Pagan, you worship Odin? Oh, guess what? Death. That's all there is to it, man. Read that again. Second Chronicles 15, verse 13. That whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. So now, all right, keep going. Whether small or great. Small or great, that means the president. Oh, oh, Barack Obama's great, ain't he? When he gives presidential speeches, he got a Muslim prayer curtain behind his ass. He a goddamn Muslim. So the Lord gonna put him to death. The Lord is going to put him to death. Okay? Uh, both small and great. All these rich devils, all these Freemasons, the Rothschilds, Queen of England, all these powerful, they gonna get put to death. Keep going. Well, first they're going, they're going into slavery first. Whether man or woman. Whether man or woman. So the Lord don't care. The Lord don't discriminate. People try to say we discriminate. The Lord don't discriminate. You can get put to death, man or woman. That's that's a uh, equality. You know what I'm saying? In that equality. <laughs> People always want to talk about equality. There ain't no equality, but that's equality. The Lord is don't don't respect no persons in judgment. Just read that one more time. You gotta read that one more time, man. Second Chronicles 15 verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel shall be put to death. Shall be put to death. And that's what's gonna happen. Just like your boy that was out here early. He tried to say that all Israelites are righteous. But he but he admitted two-thirds was gonna die. But this says, whoever is not seeking, do these people look like they seeking the Lord? Do all these fools, we go up in the hood, all these fools up in the hood, are they seeking the Lord? No, they're not. And they played Madden all day, talking that bullshit, rapping. All they talk about is rapping. These, they, they ain't kind of, the only kind of knowledge they into is what's going on with Lil Wayne and Cat, leaving cash money. The, the hottest news in the hood right now is Lil Wayne leaving cash money. 
That's the biggest story. Birdman stole 30 million yeah, from him. Bur yeah, that's what you deserve. He, Birdman been raping his ass, been fucking him. They got pictures of Lil Wayne kissing Birdman. Uh, oh. Lil Wayne uh, tweeted, like, the only reason I kissed Birdman and he did those things to me is because that's what I needed for my success. There you go. See, Lil Wayne starting to, because he, he probably, he got his conscience is getting to him now. You know what I'm saying? His conscience, all this truth is out there is getting to his ass. He's starting to fuck with his spirit. You know what I'm saying? But that's good, though. That's good. That's what's supposed to happen. That's, you know what I'm saying? Because the Birdman, you see how bur evil that motherfucker Birdman looks? He looked like a goddamn black orc, like a, a goblin, like a fucking lord of the... He's like like a, a commanding general of the, of the goblin army, you know what I'm saying? He's like one that hit vampires and blades. Yeah, looking like Bam Bam Bigelow got tattoos on his motherfucking head. Uh, you know Bam Bam Bigelow, that, that, he's an Israelite too, though. Yeah, he got a five-point star on his fucking head. He do worship... He worship Satan, bro. He's a, he's a homosexual, a literal homosexual. You know, motherfuckers will still deny that Lil Wayne's a, a homosexual. <laughs> they still You're like that's your opinion. You saw the picture. Right? That's your opinion. He, he was in a group called the Hot Boys. What the fuck is a Hot Boy? A Hot a Boy. Flamer. A flamer. Yeah, a flamer. He's a fucking faggot. A flamer. Ah damn. Birdman. What the fuck is a Birdman? <laughs> oh, he calls Birdman daddy. He calls him daddy. Who the fuck calls people daddy? That's some a bitch calls her her. That's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like I get a bitch, she calls me daddy. You don't know, call another man daddy. That's some <laughs> faggot shit. I don't even call my own dad daddy. My my little sons is. I got two little boys. If either one of them calls me daddy, they'll make fun of each other. It's like that's gay. They'll say it's gay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a daughter could call you. Yeah, that. maybe your daughter. That's some bitch shit, like some My Little Pony fairy t uh, princess shit. You know what I'm saying? So Lil Wayne's like little pink little pretty princess. Well, man, you, I doubt the Lord would wake his ass up out that deep slumber he's in, but I can see his conscience is getting to him. You know what I'm saying? But that's the hottest news in the hood right now. Motherfuckers ain't talking about World War III. They're not talking, they don't know you know about Russia. They can't even find Russia on a map. So they have no idea about the missiles that's coming this way. The only thing they worried about is, Lil Wayne, I heard he, Jay-Z gonna sign him though. <laughs> Jay-Z gonna sign him though. This some retarded shit. Yo, you motherfuckers are retarded. You need to read that again. You deserve death. You deserve death. You deserve to be put to death. That's all there is to it. Second Chronicles 15 verse 13. And whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel. They ain't seeking, all y'all ain't seeking, to, seeking is to get a record label. I'm gonna start my, I got, I'm building a studio in the basement. I'm building a studio. I got my new, my, my, uh, I'm coming out with a new album, my new mixtape. Yo, you want to hear my new raps? No, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, I'm, I'm done listening to your raps, your garbage mixtapes. I don't want to hear it. You got no style. You got no skills. Your rhymes are terrible. You suck. And I pray that the Lord kills you. Read that. That whosoever would not seek the Lord that... that you good. That, uh, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, God of Israel, should be put to death. Shall be put to death. Whether small or great. Small or great. Whether man or woman. Man or woman. All you dumbass chicken-headed hoes, you gonna get put to death too. All you adulterous hoes, bitches out here prostitute the streets. I can't go down the street without seeing 50 prostitutes. 